okay so we need to understand what agriculture is agriculture is an important part of our lives let's see how so having a meal thrice a day is part of a regular routine but when was the last time when you noticed or observed what was there on your plate did it look similar to this well so do you know why do we need such a variety of foods this is because it provides us with important nutrients to carry out our day to day activities now have you ever wondered from where all this food is coming let me tell you this food is coming from the agricultural fields this agricultural fields provides us with various crops vegetables fruits cereals flowers etc the process or the activity of growing crops is called farming so farming is just a part of agriculture agriculture is a larger umbrella therefore agriculture is the primary activity which involves growing of crops fruits vegetables flowers and rearing of livestock now what do you mean by rearing of livestock this means that the animals are made useful for human beings for various purpose they provide us with milk meat etc right now can you help me answer this question what kind of an activity is agriculture is it secondary activity a primary activity difficult activity or an easy activity it is a primary activity right well so the agricultural industry involves a variety of things including farming forestry garden cultivation growing of flowers growing of different crops here are few examples first is floriculture now what do we mean by floriculture floriculture means the growing of a variety of flowers next we have horticulture horticulture refers to the garden cultivation where we are growing different shrubs different herbs different types of plants right next we have poultry farming now what do we mean by poultry farming poultry farming is the raising of domesticated birds like hens and ducks they provide us with milk eggs etc next we have pisciculture now what exactly is pisciculture pisciculture is the stocking or keeping of a big huge amount of fishes in artificial enclosures like tanks or ponds etc well so since then we have been talking about agriculture now why is this particular thing so important because agriculture has been a vital part of human civilization since the ancient times we know that the population is increasing day by day year by year so the demand of food is also increasing and that is why agriculture becomes an important part in our lives because it produces most of the world's fabrics and food so here we have an estimation that by 2050 the population will increase to 9.8 billion which means that we have to increase the food production by 70% that is a huge leap well so where exactly agriculture and farming has evolved from farming is the activity of growing crops now ancient civilizations like maya civilization mesopotamian egyptian and indus valley all have flourished along river valleys where they got fertile soil to grow and harvest crops they used tools that were made by stone so handmade tools while the harappans used plow to dig their lands and grow crops the major crops that they grew were wheat barley and pulses okay so talking of the egyptian civilization their plowing 
or growing of crops was done after the seasonal flooding of river nile right where the soil got the important nutrients and all the required moisture where they could grow barley and emmer which were important food grains they also reared animals on their farms and the extra crops that were grown were stored in local warehouses these extra crops were taken to the markets by the farmers where they used to trade these in exchange of other goods okay so since then we have been talking about agriculture now we must understand that there are variety of crops that we eat or we consume these crops are grown on different lands and all of these are affected by various factors right taking example of corn here the corn cultivation in united states and in canadian prairies is very famous it is very known why because these places provide corn farmers with the right basic conditions right we know that corn requires a cool temperature and does not need a lot of water and this is exactly ideal for the production or the cultivation of crops like corn so now we need to understand the different factors that affect agriculture and these are topography soil and climate now coming to the first condition or the first factor that affects agriculture now what exactly is topography topography describes the physical features of an area of land as you can see here in this image we can see the different physical features on this particular image now these features could be man made or natural while natural features include mountains plateaus river valleys plains the man made features include dams roads and canals right so topography affects agriculture as it relates to soil erosion the difficulty of tillage and poor transportation facilities now the soil on the mountain and the soil on the plain is very different right soil erosion is more on the mountains as the region is sloping but while we're talking of plains the erosion is comparatively less now if by chance we have a good amount of trees on the soil that hold the soil together the soil erosion could be prevented to some extent right moving on to the difficulty of tillage now since the surface on the mountains are very uneven compared to that on the plains it is obviously very difficult to dig up the land or prepare the land for agriculture on the mountains than on the plains right and the poor transportation facilities it is very obvious that since these are sloping in shape and these are plains it is easier to carry on the agriculture and take out all the crops after harvest easier by transportation facilities on land than on mountains right also we need to remember that topography could be modified to some extent say for example a region which has less of rainfall the farmer could bring water through irrigation to that land okay to some extent we can modify the topography so coming to the next condition that is soil now what is written soil health is fundamental for a healthy food production what do we mean by saying that it means that a healthy soil will lead to healthy food production farmers must be careful about salt build up that could cause salinization now as we know that fresh water fishes cannot survive in saline oceans similarly there are various crops and various plants that cannot survive in soil that has high content of salt this may be caused due to the spill of chemicals or due to the salts that come from water bodies right so the farmers need to be very careful now to enhance the health of the soil to make it very healthy we need to add natural or man made fertilizers fertilizers that helps to grow the fertility of the soil natural fertilizers may include manure while the man made fertilizers includes ammonium 
right well irrigated soils provide better and healthier crops as we already know that the ancient civilizations flourished in river basins why so because there the land had enough moisture content so that the crops would be healthier so that is why well irrigated soil is very important in regions where there is less of rainfall or there is problem in irrigation it is difficult to have healthy crops okay moving ahead to climate which is the third factor that affects agriculture it says that agriculture is vulnerable to climate now what do we mean by that that climate plays a major role in the food production water supply plays a dominant role in dry land agriculture as you can see here the region is very dry is it possible to prepare the soil for agriculture no but in comparison to regions where there is good water supply it is greener and the food production would be easier growing of crops will be easier also we can see that this dryness of the region is because there is not enough rainfall therefore climate does play a major role a region which receives enough rainfall the agriculture is carried on easily and more efficiently so soil in dry regions is prone to more decline in nutrients because it cannot hold enough nutrients together as it does not have enough moisture to bind itself that is why all the nutrients are washed away easily so in this lesson we understood how important agriculture is we also understood that agriculture provides us with a lot of things and there are various factors that influence or affect agriculture and these factors are soil climate and topography we further learned that farming which is an integral part of agriculture is nothing new to humans it has been prevalent since a very long time since the ancient civilizations like the egyptian civilization or the indus valley civilization right so farming or agriculture by extension has been a very important part of our lives since a very long time we further learn that because of the growing population each year the importance of the agricultural industry has increased year by year in the next lesson we will be learning more about agriculture don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now